Hi, it's Dwyer. This is a follow-up on my video from a few days ago where I called the Manny Pacquiao, yes, him, in his 40s, versus Terrence Crawford fight. A very competitive fight. I believe the betting play in that fight is to take Manny Pacquiao to win the fight. Right? Hedged with the over. I reason that, first of all, Manny Pacquiao is the better athlete, even today, in his 40s, than Terrence Crawford. Pacquiao, an explosive, fast-handed southpaw, is extremely hard to prepare for. You can't find a sparring partner who has Pacquiao's timing, who has Pacquiao's power, who has Pacquiao's suddenness. Right, Manny Pacquiao also is that rare fighter who is loved by the public, and I mean deeply loved, right? Think Canelo, think Joshua today, think Ali, think Ray Leonard. Manny Pacquiao has that kind of relationship with the fans. Terrence Crawford does not, right? Fans will be at the fight cheering for Manny Pacquiao because they'll realize the idea of a guy in his 40s beating arguably the best fighter in the sport pound for pound would be historical. As esteemed as Manny Pacquiao's career has been with major wins against major fighters, if he beats Terrence Crawford, this would be a big chapter in the Manny Pacquiao book. This would be a where were you when this happened moment. So, since my piece came out yesterday on a great website, it's one I recommend, thumbs up, BoxingInsider.com. Again, it's BoxingInsider.com. They had an article. The article was entitled, Tim Bradley, colon, I've been over a hundred rounds with Terrence Crawford. Manny Pacquiao is a dangerous fight. Here you have champion Timothy Bradley. I believe he's a future Hall of Famer. Timothy Bradley, a man who beat Marquez, for example. Right, a man who beat Devin Alexander. A man who beat Manny Pacquiao, officially, their first fight. A man who fought Pacquiao three times. He has more experience in the ring against Manny Pacquiao than almost anyone outside of Marquez. Right, Tim Bradley is telling you that early in this fight, because of fight styles, because Terrence Crawford is an adaptive, reactive fighter, he's a guy who sees what you're doing and makes adjustments, tries out different styles, changes stances against Kell Brook, for example. Right? We'll fight some people righty, we'll fight some people lefty. Is looking at the lay of the land. Is very cerebral. What Bradley's telling you is that's going to give him problems against a fastball pitcher, a guy who operates as quickly and as powerfully, who starts as fast as Manny Pacquiao. So what I'm going to do here, because gamblers need to be aware of this, right? I believe the betting play here is to take Pacquiao, the senior citizen, to hedge the play with the over. Right? Because I feel this fight's going to go some rounds. Understand, too, Pacquiao went the distance against Floyd Mayweather. Right? Pacquiao is hard to drop. Well, here's the quote from Timothy Bradley. I believe Bradley is on point. Manny Pacquiao loves when guys pull back, and that's a problem. We also know that Terrence Crawford gets hit early, and he gets hit often early. Manny Pacquiao is a quick starter as well, and he still has that blazing left hand that possesses a massive amount of punching power. 
Manny Pacquiao is a dangerous fight. I would slightly favor Terence Crawford, but it's a dangerous fight. Now let me just say, because of Pacquiao's age, because of Pacquiao's inactivity, he hasn't been in the ring for a while, right? COVID has changed a lot of people's fight schedules. You have people going around saying this fight's a mismatch. This is an old man against a young guy. Don't confuse old Manny Pacquiao with young Manny Pacquiao. Now my question to you is, how can these critics say that? When in one of Manny Pacquiao's recent fights, he became the first man to beat Keith Thurman. Understand too, that fight followed the pattern that I think this fight's going to follow. And understand, Thurman is a big puncher. Bigger puncher than Crawford. Right? In that fight, Manny Pacquiao comes out, is too fast for Keith Thurman. Thurman's trying to figure out the lay of the land. Thurman gets hit. Thurman gets dropped. The crowd goes crazy. The crowd senses history. They're on Manny Pacquiao's side, even though Thurman's a great guy, even though Thurman was an unbeaten fighter. Even though Thurman belonged on the list of the best pound for pound in the sport. So, of course, Thurman courageously figures out the lay of the land. Starts to get back in the fight. It's a close fight. Thurman loses by decision. For our purposes, what's important here is that the fight went over, right? That fight went the distance. Well, here. You have Crawford, who's a slower starter than Thurman. Right? Crawford, who got dropped in a recent fight. The ref missed it. But Crawford got punched, tried to grab, lost his balance because he had been punched, hit the canvas. Right? You have Crawford against an explosive puncher here. Now, I believe if Crawford's 100% and Manny Pacquiao's 100% and there are no knockdowns in the fight, because Pacquiao's a fast starter with fast hands, because Crawford is going to take a few rounds to figure out the lay of the land, at the end of the fourth round, I'm expecting Manny Pacquiao to be up three rounds to one. Three rounds to one. Right? Crawford is going to have to get into trying to win rounds because he's facing a judge and crowd favorite. Now, let's say lightning strikes. Let's say Pacquiao, while Crawford's trying to figure out the angles on an unorthodox straight left, that Pacquiao seems to be able to throw from halfway across the ring. Let's say he's as unlucky as Thurman was. Thurman gets dropped. As Marquez was their first fight. Marquez gets dropped twice excuse me, three times in that first round. Right? Let's say while Crawford's figuring out the lay of the land, he gets dropped by Manny Pacquiao. Now, if he survives, and let's remember, Lucas Matisse got drilled by Manny Pacquiao not that long ago. The power is still there with Manny Pacquiao. If Crawford hits the canvas early, there's a chance he could get stopped early, folks. If he gets off the canvas like Keith Thurman did and tries to get himself back in the fight, let's do the math. That would be a 10-8 round. That would mean that after four rounds, assuming Crawford wins one of the first four rounds, Crawford would be down by three rounds. Three rounds against a living legend who has the support of the crowd so with all due respect to the critics this is one of the most dangerous fights Terence Crawford could have right crowd favorite you know let's face it as good as Terence Crawford is Manny Pacquiao is going to be the better known fighter. 
Crowd favorite, big time hand speed. The judges and fans know the fight's only historical if it's a classic fight or if Manny Pacquiao pulls the upset. Right? You're hearing, too, from Tim Bradley, who knows Terrence Crawford. And Bradley also in the article says, look, I sparred with Crawford when he was younger. I'm sure his game has improved. But Bradley's telling you early in fights, Crawford goes back. Crawford, while he's watching you, while he's figuring out the punches, gets hit with shots. A guy with Manny Pacquiao's suddenness and power makes that a huge risk. Again, the name of the title, excuse me, the title of the piece on BoxingInsider.com is Tim Bradley, I've been over 100 rounds with Terrence Crawford. Manny Pacquiao is a dangerous fight. I encourage everyone here to read it. I think the play here is Pacquiao to win. Pacquiao, who I expect to be the underdog, so I'm expecting you to get great odds, the kind of odds you get when you pick a guy in his 40s against a guy in his prime, almost 10 years younger, who's unbeaten, who is one of the best, if not the best in the sport pound for pound. What I'm saying is I like the Pacquiao side of the play. I'll hedge it with the over. This way, if it turns into Pacquiao Keith Thurman 2, you're sitting there and you're saying, great, I got the over. <laughs> Fight goes the distance. You say, I got the over. Now, are the judges going to give me the complete bonanza by giving me the decision? That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Let me also say, too, I prefer the over as the hedge because Crawford is dangerous late in fights. Look at the Crawford Benavides fight. Right? Crawford, like Marquez, gets sharper as the fight goes along. Right? There'll be a time in this fight where Crawford figures out Pacquiao's straight left. I just don't believe that that time is going to be for several rounds. So I like the over as the hedge. I'm not going to take fight goes the distance. Right? Because I do believe there is a possibility that Manny Pacquiao hurts Crawford and Crawford never recovers. Let's remember, Crawford is old by welterweight standards. He himself is 33 years old. Food for thought. He's not as old as 42-year-old Manny Pacquiao. But he's older. And if he gets drilled by Pacquiao early, this might be a Ricky Hatton situation. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I look forward to your comments. Thanks for stopping by.